Well, sometimes it's hard to know where to start. Um, on a roof like what I'm on here, it's, uh, uh, it looks like maybe this roof was put on by the homeowner or somebody other than a roofing contractor. It, does, it has no ridge capping. They use different types of material on this. The vent uh, is installed backwards and not very well. We're going to have to pull that and replace that. Replace all the material here. Another backwards vent here. They put it on upside down, if you will. It's going downhill instead of uphill. Uh, it's just a mess. It's going to require some work to get this thing back in, in shape. Somebody didn't, didn't know how to, how to roof around flashings. That usually implies it's a homeowner that uh, put the roof on. Uh, the pitch of this roof is a two and a half and 12, uh, which is the lower end of what uh, we certify and, and I think most other, other roofers as well. Uh, we have another vent here that looks like it goes nowhere, so we'll have to pull that and roof over it. Missing shingles here. Here's a, here's a cute one. We've got a plumbing pipe. Looks like they cut a hole so it bent. I don't know why. We're gonna have to put a new uh, flashing there, a new, a whole new vent. The downdraft. This is a downdraft air conditioner. This material here. Let me put my foot in here so you can see it. This material here should go over this flashing, not be, not have the flashing glued to the material. So we're gonna have to re-roof around the uh, HVAC unit on both sides and across the uh, and across the back. Which I just have have this all torn out and, and rebuilt. Um, so there you go. We've got some more damage down there. It's going to require a, a little bit to get this uh, roof whipped into shape. 